Christmas time, which means so many things to be thankful for. The Baby Jesus, Chris Columbus movies, Mariah Carey is almost done with being on your radio every five seconds. It's also time to be thankful for that time that Billy Jack, after two long years, finally was able to finish production in 1971. Like I said, two years after begin production here in Prescott, Arizona, or Prescott, Arizona. The pronunciation is always depends on if you're a douchebag or not. It was a flick that was written, produced, directed, and starring Tom Laughlin. But don't you dare call it a vanity project or Billy Jack will visit your room tonight and roundhouse kick and karate chop your face. There were several Billy Jack flicks, and while this has the titular title, it was not the first film in the series. It was the second, kind of like the flick Rambo was the fourth of the Rambo franchise. But it's set in a little small town, much like Prescott is. And it opens up right here at this courthouse. Um, this is the, the, you know, the main street of Prescott's right over there. And um, it's a pic picturesque community. If you've ever seen Back to the Future, uh, the courthouse um, kind of kind of resembles Prescott. There's always been a rumor that uh, Steven Spielberg, you know, military brat, uh, spent time living in Arizona recommended looking at Prescott to the production designers and, and Robert Zemeckis for Back to the Future for the look of the courthouse. The courthouse, of course, Universal Studios Courthouse. It's been around for decades already at that point. B-movies to uh, things like... Um, What's that one movie? With uh, Gregory Peck. Oh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Anyhow, back to Billy Jack. It's an awesome movie, and it's a horrible movie. But uh, a couple great action sequences in it. There's an old school, been around, well, I mean, not counting the fire that took it down, but there's the palace on Whiskey Row. They called it Whiskey Row all the way back in the times of Virgil Earp, who called this his favorite western of the western towns. The people who run that film will tell you that White Earp shot somebody in the back. They'll tell you that Doc Hall, they stabbed somebody in there. How much of that is true? Depends on what the historians, uh, which ones you listen to. But there's a scene at the palace involving some buddies trying to find out if a guy was successful with a little miss up yours. But that scene is uh, kind of sets up this whole double action pack sequences over there at what was an ice cream shop. It is now a uh, mob themed burger shop. There's also a great action sequence, a little fight right over here at this fountain. This fountain is currently not on. In fact, it looks a little bit phallic, sort of like the dude himself um, decided to enshrine both bowling and his manhood or something. But usually it's a it's a water fountain, been there forever. It's in Billy Jack. And if you want to watch a, um, a you know, hippie kind of 70s, early 70s, late 60s action movie where the small town that just doesn't want to, um, you know, mature and uh, be progressive at all kind of gets their comeuppance. You could go, well, you could go a whole lot better than Billy Jack, but you could also go worse than Billy Jack. So, you know. Check it out. Hawk shock. <laughs>